again welcome to my channel yeah i just want to continue my previous video and let's we can learn some more example to calculate mr of the compound can you see that question and do you want to work out mr how i taught you just follow the technique and work out the mr of the following compounds first one is hydrochloric acid i will teach you the formula and everything in my later videos let's let's i want to do one example um, can i can i do the can i which one do you want let's let's do the carbon dioxide let's do the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide carbon 12 oxygen 16 AR of carbon is 12 time I have one carbon AR of oxygen is 16 then we have two oxygen add them up simple 12 plus 32 which is equal equals to 44 okay like try the ammonia one D and H3 which is ammonia when you look at the periodic table the nitrogen is 18 sorry my bad nitrogen is 14 look at the AR of nitrogen is 14 always take the bigger number 14 so nitrogen 14 times 1 plus hydrogen AR is 3 hydrogen AR is one and times by three so takes times by three so 14 plus three equals to 17 yeah now after that we're going to learn a relative isotopic atomic mass of isotope yeah in my previous videos i already discussed the definition of the isotopes let's i want to go through one more time what what is meant by the term isotope let's see what is meant by the term isotope and we will do we have already seen i taught you already that the term isotopes i want to go over one more time what is meant by the term isotope very quick See guys, I already taught you the term isotopes. Check, see my previous videos. Let's see. I wanted to tell you one more time what are isotopes. These are the atoms of the same elements having same number of protons and electron, but they have different number of neutrons. Let's take the example of chlorine. We have done already chlorine, chlorine. I'm going to go very fast. 1735 and 1737. And I already taught you the natural abundance or isotopic abundance. Isotopic abundance. One is 75%, one is 25%. Hmm. We can work out relative, 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 isotopic, isotopic, atomic mass. It's same as AR, but AR of the isotopes. We can work out relative, isotopic, atomic mass. Let's see. We will work out one numerical one numerical example can you try this example a sample of bromine contains 53% of bromine 79 ar of bromine that's 79 and 47% of bromine which is a isotopic form having ar81 see how to calculate a relative atomic 
mass of isotope relative atomic mass of isotope ar of isotopes just follow my formula it's easy so we have two ars ar1 of first isotope time its percentage abundance plus plus ar2 of second isotope times its percentage abundance when you work out the 53 plus 47 is always equals to 1 obviously percentage means 100 so divided by 100 easy formula guys you can't see this formula in your textbook but that's the easy formula don't think any element has only two isotopes sometimes we have more than two isotopes three isotopes so follow same thing they are of all these isotopes like any element like some element has four isotopes some element has five isotopes so ar of one times its abundance so go on let's try this one so ar of for isotope 79 times its percentage 53 plus 81 times 47 divided by 100 and make sure that your answer should be in the range of 79 and 81. After calculating, if you get your answer less than 79 or more than 81, mean I think you make a mistake. So let's let's start how to work out. Use your calculator. You can use the calculator. So when you work out, when you work out. See, when you work out, use the calculator, it's not a big issue. Big e. So 79 times 53, which is and plus 81 times 47 divided by 100. So it's equals to 41.87 plus 38.07. And the answer is 79.94. So what I told you, your answer should be between the range. So it's like an average. It's like a range between 79 and 81. So look at my answer. My answer is 79.94, which is correct. So whenever you are working the relative isotopic atomic mass, your answer should be in the range. Can we can we try one more example? Yeah. Let's let's try one more example. This is the one way of asking question in the examination. This is a common question for GCSE and A level, and the, the the hardest way. What they will give you? They will give you isotopic, a relative isotopic atomic mass, and they will ask you to figure out their percentages. They will not give you the percentages. We have to work out the percentages. Let's let's work out one more example for isotopic. Abundance. I have seen that question in many past people for A level. Like, see, chlorine, you know, the chlorine has two isotopes. Chlorine element has two isotopes having AR 35 and 37. It's relative atomic mass is 35.5. Find the isotopic abundance. Now, try it. Try it. Look, use the same formula. So, isotopic AR of isotope equals to 
AR of first isotope times its percentage abundance, which is not given in the question, plus AR of second isotope times its percentage abundance divided by 100. Since it is a percentage, assume first isotope equals to X and a second isotope equals to Y. So X is the abundance of first isotope, Y is the abundance of second isotope. And we know that, we know that X plus Y equals to 100. So, so X equals to 100 minus Y. X and Y percentage is not given. So AR is given, that's the isotopic uh, atomic mass, which is 35.5. So 35.5 is the relative isotopic mass of the chlorine. And AR of first isotope is 35 time X, I have taken X as the percentage plus 37 time y and divided by 100. So you can substitute plug in x equals to 100 minus y. Let's see x equals to 100 minus y. Now please copy down so that I can I can rob the board. Yeah, look at that. I want to plug all these value in our previous formula which is 35.5 equals to 35x and 35x plus 37y divided by 100 but we know what is x x equals to 100 minus y so 35 time 100 minus y plus 37 times y divided by 100. Take that 100 to this side. So 35.5 times by 100. How much is that, guys? 35.5 times 100. Use your calculator. So 35.5 times 100, which is equals to 3550, equals to 35 times 100 minus 35 y plus 37y. Yep. Yeah. So, so this is also, this is 35. Five zero, three thousand five hundred fifty, three thousand five hundred minus two y. Look, thirty five y plus minus thirty five y plus thirty seven y, which is two y. Take this to that side. So three five five zero minus three five zero zero equals to two y. Uh, can I rub the question because I don't have a space? Let's see. That's the important question, guys. I have seen this question in many past paper. It's just like a mathematical calculation. So, 3, 5, 3,550 minus 3,500 equals to 2, 2 y. So 50 equals to 2y. y equals to 50 by 2, which is equals to 25. So we know that x plus y, x plus y equals to 100. So x plus 25 equals to 100, x equals to 100 minus 25. So x equals to 
75. So one percentage is 75 and another percentage is 25. So we know that the percentages or relative abundance of the chlorine is 25 and 75. So you may expect similar question in your examination. Okay, bye. Hi guys, did you understand this? Uh, did you understand this question? Try to do similar question or try to check the past papers. Yeah, today I want to stop my lesson here. Yeah. Do do more revision based on these isotopes. Okay, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much.